killer whales, a marine mammals. <laughs> They inhabit across the globe. They belong to the family of dolphins. And they are the largest of the dolphin species. <laughs> They feed on wide variety of preys. <coughs> they are known to feed on many species of fish. Feed on squid. They feed on the penguins, seavers. They feed on sharks and rays. And they feed on warm blooded prey, including seals, sea lions, and other species of dolphins and whales. <laughs> In each area of the world, killer whales have developed distinct type of population and society. <laughs> The composition of the family and The menu of the prey differ. <laughs> There are 
at least a three types of killer whales have been observed for years. <laughs> One type of killer whales are called residents. <laughs> the resident killer whales live in complex family unit contains many individuals sometimes up to 40 or 50 and mainly feed on salmon <laughs> The salmon come back to the Johnston Strait near the Vancouver Island every summer. trying to get upriver for the spawning ground. <laughs> the resident killer whales effectively hurt the salmon to the shallow rocks and make them incapable to escape and the killer whales use their s sonar click to physically hit the fishes that eventually stun them that becomes incapable of moving
The resident killer whales are highly social and frequently vocalizing. With their teammates, and they can be so loud, and you could hear it from the distance. Very far. <laughs> There are another type of group that used to be called a transient killer whales. Now it's becoming to be called as Big Killer Whales, named after. The pioneer scientist who first Planned an idea of identifying each individual of killer whales that roams in the western coast. of Canada and Washington State. He sometimes called as the father of the recent Keller Whale study. <laughs> The big killer whale a warm blooded eater. They live in a tight group of fewer individuals than resident killer whales and they roam silently not to be detected by their intelligent preys.
They are capable of. hiding themselves under before attack. And often Demonstrate the unpredictable sudden attack to their praise. <laughs> Smart creatures, killer whales need a strategy. Not to be recognized by the prey before closing in. <laughs> For example, one orca closing in to a seal, and the seal will definitely recognize that arc that comes in and be trying to run away from it. The while Paying those attention to that orca, the other orca sneak under the seal and take a bite.
from where? The seal. Not yet realized. <laughs> And when the big killer whales chase after dolphins, they simply close in faster than dolphins. By its powerful fluke. For killer whales are the f one of the fastest cetacean among with those purpose. <laughs> And they caught in the ways of escaping of dolphins by shooting out to the air from the surface and produce an escapable attack to the dolphins from up above. <laughs> Big killer whales become talkative when there's no need to sneak under not to be realized their prey anymore. <laughs> The last type of the group of killer whales in the Pacific Northwest is called the offshore killer whales. As the name suggests, those whales are commonly seen Not in the coastal area, but a much vast area of the open sea. <laughs> they feed on the sharks. They'll live 
in the deeper area of the sea. <laughs> They are showing the sign of eating those condorexite fishes. By their worn out teeth that's so grinded almost to the flat made by a rough skin of the shark which they prey upon. <laughs> So even if those three groups share the same region of the part of the earth, they show a different sign of culture and tradition. <laughs> Why I use the term a culture and tradition here is because of those behavior and their social pattern it's not passed along by their genes, but the lifetime teaching from the mother <laughs> Group of the group of killer whales is called pod. The killer whales are known to be matriac. Matriac means the group is consist of one oldest mother that sits in center and her as a leader and the rest of the group are all offspring of the mother <laughs> They learn every hint of living by their mothers. How to feed
how to socialize and how to survive in the ocean. <laughs> So without that mother, a group significantly lose its fitness. and start to drive its way toward extinction. <laughs> Male, often, stays in his original group. While the females may leave the group and will have her own pod with her first born ca calf. <laughs> So I would like to point out the orcas in the aquarium are being split apart from their family. <laughs> Since the family bond of killer whales is so tight and strong, one can not even imagine how cruel it is to take a baby out of the group. <coughs> The lifespan of killer whales in the aquarium are much shorter than lifespan of killer whales in the wild. They often live no longer than 10 years after being captured. Where's killer whales in the wild has been known to live up to 80 years for females. 
So, you better rather not go to the aquarium. And head out to their natural habitat. There are ways to see them from the ship if you choose. To join the whale watching tour in many parts of the world. <laughs> But there are strict guidelines of wedging whales from the ship. <laughs> the marine habitat the sound is an essential clue to live better than visual <laughs> And the whole variety of sound the whale makes to exchange with their family in the means of communication. <laughs> So the ship must must stay away from the whales with enough distance. And make sure not to chase them around. <laughs> and also, the whale watching boat. must not gather around or get so close the 
that the number of the boats might stress the whales. So, I would recommend you to stand on your feet while watching. <laughs> That means you should stay on the land to see the whales passing by. In that way, we can respect both nature of the species that we as territorial animals and them as a marine creature <laughs> So please visit the village with the say word in the British Columbia where you can see orcas passing by from the land if you have wait for hours or days. <laughs>